All right, in Diddy news. Instagram model Jade Ramy is clearing her name after she uh, was listed as an alleged sex worker in Lil Rod's loss against Diddy. Girl, I feel your pain. They just be talking, don't they? Mm. Jade told Entertainment Tonight in a statement, yes, I dated someone. How unfortunate we entered a time where caring for someone or falling in love is worthy of scrutiny in the court of public opinion. What may be amusing for you is real life for others. And my feelings have never been for entertainment, nor are they up for discussion. What are your thoughts on her statement, Al? Oh, I think they're absolutely. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Jade Ramey, you didn't convince anybody of anything. You never denied the allegation that you were a sex worker, and all you're here saying is that you were in love with him. Two things could be true at the same time, sweetheart. You can be a sex worker and still be in love with all the fame, access, and money and excitement that Diddy brought to your life. I think the best thing for her to do is stay off of social media until this case is settled. All right, Armand, what do you think? I mean, I kind of agree with that, too, because it also feels like, come on, guys, during that time, I feel like he was with her, Young Miami, Daphne. Like, Diddy was seen around with all these different women and popping babies in and out of different ones. So it's kind of like, well, were you really his girlfriend? You know, it seemed like it was more of like a on-call kind of situation. You know, then you had Young Miami talking about, you know, she he would let her, you know, take a pee on her, you know? So it, it seemed a little pay for hire and convenience for me. So like Al says, she didn't clear anything up. And can you be wrong for the people assuming that you were a sex worker, uh, given the, the type of relationship that she, Diddy has had with all these women at the same time? Like, it's not that far off. I don't want to call her a sex worker, but I'm going to say this. Um, I think that uh, a lot of times when you're in these situations, it may not be presented as, you are my sex worker. It may be... <laughs> 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 Seriously, and I, I could. I, I'm always trying to like. Okay, I could see how. I could see how you're one of the girls in the stable, right? And you don't even yes. call yourself a sex worker. You think you're one of his girls. Like you know, there's a lot of famous like boxers and other celebrities that have a harem of women. I don't think they would call themselves sex workers. I think in their world, in their mind, and how they're able to pr deal with it and and be okay with it is no. Like he just takes care of me, and I you know we do what we do. I, I think that's where the problem is. But, you know, when someone says it so harshly and says sex worker and you're like, no, but we've had conversations and he's told me about his mom or his, his pains. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think that's where um, we just don't know because we're not in the room with these people. So just if she if she was like Cassie, let's just put a hypothetical there. If she like Rodney Jones is a legend, if she was like Cassie, um, what he's a legend with Daphne and and, and Carisha, I mean, uh, young Miami. What do you consider yourself when you're hiring male prostitutes or escorts? You're going on a site, picking out the ones that the, you know, the two of you agree on. They come in, they have sex with you, and then you go to the next one. When you're so doing I that multiple times, what, what in their head, I'm just thinking, what emotionally would they call themselves? Well, Jade probably thinks she's one of his girls that they are hiring other sex workers that they're calling those agencies, but I think she probably thinks that she's more than that. I, I see it all the but, time. But like, it would be weird though, because then he, he'd be out with Young Miami, then on vacation with this one, and then yeah. popped up with a baby with that one. So they all know that they're not his girlfriend. So yeah, they're well, sex it, workers, they're his hoes. They, that, it couldn't be me, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I see a lot of girls out here that are part of harems that don't, they think they're just like, it just is what it is. Things are different now. Times are different. He, you know, you know, he's not just one of us. We're we're all like taking care. I don't know. It ain't my life. You know, like I said, I, I was a sex worker. They tried to say I was, but I'm not a sex worker, so I don't know. So hey, hey, Jade, hit us up. I would love to talk to some of these girls that are mm -hmm. in part of, uh, you know, that were intertwined with him. She's saying she had feelings for him, so maybe she doesn't see it that way. All mm -hmm. right. Speaking. Of, oh, Giselle Robinson said everyone with a partner is a sex worker, and well, Carol Jones says, but. Was she servicing Diddy's friends? And Danny says she thinks she's special. I will tell you this as a woman, we all want to believe that, even if it seems so ridiculous that, mm. like, it's so, like, I've had conversations with girls talk, talking about the ledge, like, girl, you're not special. Like, seriously, outside looking in, you look horrible. And they're really a delusion, like, because we have this thing called estrogen that makes us mm. sometimes not want to see, you know, what it really is. I'm just saying.